Well, something's happening. Yeah, camera shut off probably for the 59 minutes, uh, 59 seconds. Uh, bollocks inherited from that cocksucker Bill Gates and his lame dick programming. Yeah, the cats are in my Nike uh, jacket from the uh, 80s yet. No, they haven't. It's a fucking miracle. They probably could do a bit of a wash again. Yeah, it can actually. Right, cloudy weather this time. Uneven ground. Are the graphics going to be significantly different? I'm sure you're waiting with bated breath. Uh, I just remembered actually, uh, I need to save two of those uh, soft rolls for the uh, taste testing of the Richmond meat free sausages. They are actually vegan. The cauldron sausages are only vegetarian, there is a difference. Now I've been trying to make my own vegan sausages out of whole plant based ingredients, no fucking weird chemicals like that sauce dash prick on your YouTube. And uh, the only problem is uh, the skins. Now the only possible thing I can use as uh, sausage skins, vegan things, uh, is going to be the silver skin of the onion. You know the thin layer. When you take a layer of onion on and there's like the thin film on there, you can take that off and dry it. But it's very difficult to get big pieces of that. So it looks pretty much identical to how it did before. The graphics are horribly blocky. They're fucking disgustingly blocky. They're made of Lego, mate. And uh, fucking uh, super jumbo sized Lego. It's very boring this game. Very, very boring. Can you actually crash? I'm just going to keep going fast. Fuck you then. It appears you can go, it's like a trained version of uh, a regular racing game with rubbish graphics that no one would bother to train anyway because it's fucking looks shit. I mean the graphics are moving faster than Turbo and the ColecoVision but mm, what a mess, there's no way to end the leg we're out of the race sorry but we are out of the race for good but why why is that then it doesn't actually give you a reason right this game's shit selfish directory this is a uh, usual mad commodore crusade against fucking shit useless later games on the uh, commodore 64 that's why the Patreon pricks haven't got a clue, because they're experienced with a fucking C64. They go straight for the later games, assuming they're fucking better. Exactly, mate. Really, I should put Manic Miner in the uh, selfish directory, because I do fancy a go at that. I can, can't really remember anything about when I was playing Manic Miner and we've tried playing Manic Miner on a CRT screen with the Point Master joystick which is what I would have had when Manic Miner come out. It's one of the first games I got for my C64 actually. No, I didn't delete the Nightfall thing but I haven't run out of space yet on this thing so anything else in here. I don't really want to play turbocharge. Ah, power drift. And battery warning is flashing. Uh, I found a version of power drift that works with the SD to IC. Well, they all do as far as I know. And um, 
it allows you not to fall off the edge of the road that is my biggest problem with that game on the C64 the graphics you know that the C64 can generate are not realistic enough for you to react fast enough to not go off the road it really doesn't work uh, but they have to leave it in because it's an arcade conversion and it wouldn't be power drift if you could drive in the air like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Now I could watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang but no, it's not dark enough to watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I did used to like watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang actually. Maybe if I have like uh, half a bottle of uh, whiskey or something. Maybe I can recapture the fun of watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang but most likely I'll just fall down the fucking stairs going downstairs to get a packet of crisps uh, what's the uh, chocolate bar of choice at the moment damn it I can't see it it's the purple one by Cadbury no, I'm not sticking my hand in the bin. There used to be a chocolate bar called Drifter. I don't think you can get that anymore. Uh, is it traffic jam time? Because I can hear some shit music. Yeah, actually. Is there, is there like traffic backed up there? Yeah. I really shouldn't wear my reading glasses when I'm looking out the window. It does actually look like a nice day. It probably is cold, but the sun would help warm you up. So, uh, yee Do, 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 do. I think this is the only uh, late Activision game that I would have thought was okay. And it's the same situation with Turbo Outrun. You'd be fucking, uh, you'd go mental if you paid 25 quid for Amiga, Power Drift, or Turbo Outrun when the C64 version has got a faster screen update and plays better. And it's 15 quid less. And in the case of Power Drift, it's not even uh, a multi load. Do, 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 do. Do I have to see all these? I oh, fucking get on with the fucking game. Jesus Christ, these fucking crackers. Why would I want to see all of that? And fucking uh, bring up the training menu and then ask me, you dumb cunts. This is one of the rare times where I remember a fucked up. Generally, they do make decent cracks that also do actually work on the SD to IC. So, there we go. Disable... Uh, so I'm going to say no to that, no to that one, uh, no to that one, you can't fall off the edges, yes, and uh, I might want to see different graphics, so yes to that, and no to that. Now what's my favourite looking track, I think it's the uh, green one. So we just have to watch. We beat that one, in it. Now, of course, I don't fall off this time. Now I've tried the NTSC version of this, and it doesn't seem to go any faster. So. We're in second position. Uh, unlike uh, Ivan Iron Man uh, Stuart, Stuart, uh, you don't have to win every race. You just have to make sure you're in the top three. So the only trainer option that's on is not falling off the road when it goes up here. So that is the only one. I 
I don't know if turbocharge is actually faster than this. Done good in it, and uh, technically, I probably wouldn't have even fallen off the uh, road. Ooh, nice one! Ah, oh, no, good damn you! See, there are it's a bare minimum of trainer options on so. Yeah, I'm too busy looking at my speed because it doesn't feel like I'm doing that much speed. Grey probably wasn't a good colour to go for the side of the road, as well as grey for the you know the track that you're driving on, because it compromises the colours of the signs. You see. So the dark grey is the background colour for the screen. You know, 53281, that's what I'm guessing. Alright, when the camera's on charge, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Make a space, clear a path, motherfucker, for the uh, 1902 monitor, and uh, we we do a little test like that, innit? 1902 monitor versus Sony Trinitron, and they'll be the same price. Yeah, this is definitely the best 8-bit version of this. And, uh, you know, Turbo Outrun as well. This is the uh, best on C64. Oh, we're in first place this time. Um, so, you know, when, uh, you know, the Patreon pricks start going on about, Oh, C64's rubbish, you could chase HQ, you could... Look at that drone, that drone's fucking on. Yeah, whatever, mate, fuck off. He's trying to do a rap scene, Nesbit voice. If you're wondering more for the visual effect, it was a terrible impersonation. Mate. No! Yeah, I would have liked this game back then. I did play Turbo Outrun on uh, my cousin's uh, C64. I do remember playing that. This is more fun than Mario Kart, if you ask me. And if you're not going to ask me, why are you watching the channel, mate, if you don't want my opinions? We could still do it, actually. We just drove through one, so uh, come on, mate. Battery times, uh, yeah. I think sometimes grey was not a good idea for the background, so oh, mad Commodore, you're a dirty driver, dirty, sir. Got a lot of work to do here, thank you. Hell of a lot of work to do, so. Mm. 
See, I don't know why they don't go and, uh, you know, update the graphics on things like this. I get the distinct impression no one knows fuck all about doing uh, 3D, you know, bitmap based games. What's going on there? Oh, because we're technically off the road, because uh, we're falling off the edge of the uh, thing. I would have preferred engine noise to the music because then I'd know what bloody gear I'm in. It's actually a bit difficult to tell that. So. so I only got to overtake one more. Ah oh, no, we've run out of time. Commodore key for level skip, thank you. Yeah, see, I'm just, I need the engine noise when I'm driving these games. I don't like games where you don't hear the engine noise. I don't think you can turn off the uh, music, so. It's still a great game for the C64, loads of fun. Nah. It's all going pear shaped. Whee! Congratulations! Do 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 do. Yeah, battery's fucked anyway.